as child protection actors working in humanitarian settings, we want to provide effective support that makes a difference in the lives of children and their families. To ensure that we are doing this, it's important to monitor and evaluate our work. But child protection case management is complex and this task can be extremely challenging. To support child protection actors, the Global Case Management Task Force has developed two key resources, Minimum Indicators and the Quality Assessment Framework. Five Minimum Indicators were developed for the 2019 edition of the Minimum Standards for Child Protection in Humanitarian Action. They provide measurable values that demonstrate how effectively case management services are meeting children's needs in a humanitarian crisis. The indicators focus on the case management process and should be disaggregated according to the age, gender, disability and other relevant diversity factors relating to the children we are helping. The five minimum indicators measure 1. The percentage of child protection workers trained in case management who demonstrate improved knowledge and competence in applying the case management process. 2. The percentage of children and caregivers who report being satisfied with the services they received and the response actions that were taken. 3. The percentage of children and caregivers who report improved well-being as a result of their urgent child protection needs or risks being addressed. 4. The number and percentage of appropriate referrals of children to child protection case management services that are made by community members in target locations. And 5. The number and percentage of appropriate referrals of children made by child protection case management staff to other sectors. The second resource is the Case Management Quality Assessment Framework, or QAF, which helps child protection actors meet the quality and monitoring standards for case management systems in humanitarian contexts. The QAF can be used when designing, monitoring or evaluating case management responses and systems within an organization or at an interagency or national level. It is aimed at child protection staff who are responsible for assessing the case management response and system in which they work. At minimum, they should have knowledge and experience in child protection case management practice supervision, coaching and capacity building. They should be able to design and manage data collection as well as make changes to the case management response. The QAF assesses case management across eight main dimensions, including the case management response, the case management process, strengthening the child protection system, collaboration and coordination, appropriate staffing and capacity, sufficient resources, information management, monitoring, evaluation, accountability and learning. The QAF takes into account that a case management response and system may still be in the early stages of development, especially during the onset of an emergency response. By identifying strengths and weaknesses, it provides guidance on how to improve the case management response and system and move to more developed stages and quality. The QAF resource includes an introduction and guidance around the use of the QAF. The case management QAF, which is the overall framework, including the tools that can be used to assess the quality of a case management response and system, or to plan a response and system. A change grid, which is a reference of suggested key actions that can be taken to strengthen the case management response and system. The action plan template, 
which has been designed to facilitate the planning of selected key actions based on the QAF findings. Data collection tools, which can be used to assess the different dimensions in the QAF. And a template for a summary report on the quality assessment if needed. By continually monitoring and evaluating our work, we can ensure that we are doing the right things in the right ways to meet the needs of children everywhere.